Hello and welcome to another video of Scent Explorer. Today we have an another uh, Middle Eastern perfume house that is called Kissa. And if you read it in uh, Arabic, it's from Kaf, Kaf, and uh, in English it is started with G. So maybe a lot of people they might pronounce it Gissa, but I think I personally think it is Kissa. Kissa means basically stories, story. Okay. So we have uh, today we have Hudson Valley. Uh, I have uh, seen some of the very, you know, uh, uh, from Demi. I think the girl was Demi. She was praising these perfumes a lot. So I thought that I should check them out and uh, tell you whether these should be purchased or not and how they actually smell. So this is Hudson Valley from Gissa Perfumes or Kissa perfumes this is the sample vial I got so let's test it and find out what it actually has to offer okay let's spray okay now right off the bat or just in the start it's a little bit spicy fruity sweet a bit very powerful it's very fruity right now it's light, spicy and fruity and a kind of aromatic fruity. I think it has some florals, but I am uh, getting headache because it is a bit very powerful. I think it would suit women more. Okay. Yes, spicy, uh, maybe rose. Maybe some lychee kind of fruity vibe, a light syrupy maybe and spicy. I think they have listed saffron over here. I think the spice coming over here is not like pepper spice, but it is kind of saffron kind of spicy. Now it's kind of linear, but I think it is a safe scent. Uh, for women for me I think I would not uh, recommend it for myself for men I would recommend it for women doesn't smell very elegant or very classy to me it is kind of like maybe good for teens or maybe in their 20s 20 something 24 25 uh, I would not recommend it for mature women It has something that is balancing, balancing the fruity vibe to something warm. Like they have listed amber over here, warm, spicy. So it has some balance. It is not very, very sparkling kind of spicy or very rosy or very fruity. It is just kind of like having something to hold it down. So I think it might be they have listed amber over here, but also they listed black current so it is kind of a good perfume for women so my rating would be um, 7 out of 10 for uh, uniqueness uh, I think I have sniffed similar perfumes from Rasasi uh, Bruce series I think the first one Athir I think Athir Cambodia that has been continued discontinued it is a kind of in that direction not very similar uh, but in that direction and then I would give it for performance wise. I think these are very, very good. Uh, I haven't tested them on my skin, but I think uh, I sprayed this one or the other one. I'm going to review in the next video. Uh, and it was really powerful. It was powerful enough to give me a headache. So if you are uh, allergic to, you know, pinchy or very powerful perfumes, I think you should avoid these. There is some floral note that is, you know, having me, giving me some headache. I'm not sure what it is. It's something very high pitched fruity kind of uh, floral note. That is why I didn't like it much. Okay. So for me, I would give it performance wise. I think it is eight or nine uh, and um, uniqueness uh, scent profile. I would give it seven out of ten. 
and uh, lo longevity and sealage i think it is going to be 8 or 9 so this is my review about hudson valley from gisa or kissa perfumes and uh, this is a brand from kuwait and i really love and enjoy you know uh, reviewing these a bit fruity um, fruity and floral fruity kind of perfume uh, in my opinion okay so see you soon in another video if you have any comments or if you have used it if you are a woman i would recommend it that you should test or try this out make sure you get a sample first and uh, i think you might like it okay so till then uh, take care bye bye allah hafiz assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh